Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to bring you an update here, but before I get to this update, I want to say if you are looking for a brokerage account and you would like to trade some stock and you do not have one, Robinhood does have a promotion going on. If you use that link in the comments and description section of this video to sign up for Robinhood, you can get some free stock. So this is actually the link I'm showing on the screen right now. So if that sounds like something that interests you to sign up and get some free stock, head to that link, check it out, create an account and receive your free stock. Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I wanna provide an update here on ticker ZOM or Zometica Corp. So it's been a really long time since I covered this stock. It may be like a year or two. It's been a really long time. And I remember when I made that video on Zometica, um, I think they were trading around like the 25 cent mark or something. And I made a comment in my video or in the comment section, something about them being like a meme stock, you know, they're just a penny stock, they're a meme stock. And I had several people come in and bash me on it and say, oh, they're just, you know, look at their balance sheet and they're not a meme stock. This is a legitimate company and blah, blah, blah. So if we look where their price is right now, they're far below that. So they're now down below the 18 cent mark. And it was kind of funny because in the comments on that video, people were saying how this uh, stock should be worth like a dollar to a dollar fifty a share. And it's like, no, there's a reason they were at 25 cents a share. And I'm gonna show you why they are down here at 17 cents a share. I mean, yeah, in general, the markets are kind of battered right now. Uh, bonds are getting trashed like you know the economy is still trash inflation is through the roof you know interest rates are through the roof so i mean it's it's probably suppressed a little bit by that but i mean a dollar to a dollar fifty give me a freaking break now if we look at the earnings here uh they're not that bad to be honest a lot of the stocks and companies that i cover on this channel wish they had eps numbers like this they're like pretty much break even I mean, very, very slightly in the negative. But with that being said, earnings are not the only thing you look at when it comes to a stock. I mean, yeah, it's good to have uh, you know, positive earnings for sure, but it's not the only thing you need to look at when you're analyzing the financials of a company. So let's go into Yahoo Finance here, and I'm gonna show you why this thing is not a dollar to a dollar fifty a share, or whatever stupid price target those people were putting out in the comments on that old video. So if we're coming to Yahoo Finance here and we look at them, profit margin, pathetic, negative 86%. Operating margin, last 12 months, pathetic, negative 115%. Return on assets, not that bad, but it is in the negative, 5.9%. Return on equity, not that terrible. We've seen worse, but still negative 7.4%. You can see they have 22.43 million in revenue the last 12 months. Uh, EBITDA is in the negative at 20.77 million. And there's that very small loss um, on diluted EPS if we look at the last 12 months. Um, coming down here to the balance sheet section, they do have a ton of cash on hand compared to how much cash they burn. So I will give them that on the balance sheet. You know, they do got a lot of cash there, but that doesn't really mean they're pumping out positive earnings or they're getting you any return on equity because we were kind of looking up here, right? You know, the return on equity is still in the negative. Their operating margin is still trash. Their profit margin is still garbage. But their balance sheet is probably their best financial statement. But you know, there are other statements. There's income statements, there's cash flow statements. And this cash flow statement right here is absolutely pathetic. I mean, looking at it, operating cash flow the last 12 months, they burned through 13 million. And you can see they got a lot of cash on hand, so they got this fat current ratio, but this is this is pathetic, this is not good. Levered free cash flow, negative 12 million, not good. Uh, you know, So again, when I made that video before, I think they were trading right at their book value, which was about 25 cents, You know, whatever quarter that was, when we were looking at MRQ or most recent quarter. And so, so you can see that they are fundamentally a little undervalued right now, but a buck, buck 50, no, I'm sorry. Your cash flow statement is trash. Your income statement sucks. Um, your balance sheet is okay, but you know, the, I'm sorry, this company is not, these shares are not worth a buck to a buck 50, even if the markets were to recover and inflation would kind of calm down and you know, the economy would kind of recover. I still do not see this stock at a buck to a buck 50 with a trash cash flow statement like this like i'm sorry 
So, you know, just want to provide an update here and hopefully some of those people that bashed me long ago and argued with me long ago comment on this video um, and provide me some updated guidance <laughs> on what price they think the shares are going to go to because, you know, I was spot on with that video calling them a meme stock. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, they're trading for 25 cents a share. They're trading for 17 cents a share. You can't expect me to take this company seriously. You can't expect me to take this stock seriously. But I'll continue to keep you updated here on ticker ZOM or Zometica Corp. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.